Whenever our family um, talks about an ancestor, um, a particular one comes up quite often. Um, his name was Rodney Badger, and he was born back in 1823 in Vermont. And I'd love to tell you a little bit about why he has become a hero in, in our family. When he was 12 years old, um, Heber C. Kimball came to their family and introduced them to the gospel, and they joined the church at that time. Um, but only three years later, his father passed away, and because he was the oldest, he had to um, then begin taking care of his family. And then, um, when he was 23 years old, the, the saints were preparing to go to the Salt Lake Valley, and he had already kind of distinguished himself um, as a member of the Nauvoo Legion, um, as a protector of Joseph Smith, and even though he was pretty young, he was selected um, in a group of people to be in the very first company of pioneers that would go um, to the Salt Lake Valley. And, so at that time he was, you know, he was he was young. He was really athletic. He was good at swimming. He was good at um, outdoors, anything, hunting, um, handling animals. And so he was just what they were looking for when they were looking for people who would um, be in the first company of pioneers to go across. So he did that, and and. Um, after they had arrived, um, it wasn't very long when Brigham Young said, okay, now we actually need to go back to winter quarters and, and help some people come in this kind of the second wave. And so, so he did that. They went back, they got this second group of people and he was re reunited with his wife and, and, and the, their baby and they came again across the plains. Um, then um, he, he was very busy helping set up everything um, that needed to be prepared in, in the, the new settlement. Um, in those days they had a thing called the Perpetual Immigration Fund and this would um, become the basis of um, funds that could be used by people who needed um, help paying for a trip across. And in gathering funds for the Perpetual Immigration Fund, Rodney Badger helped um, gather cattle and um, horses and whatnot that, that were um, used to create funds um, that pioneers used to travel across. He was a lieutenant of the territorial militia, and then from there, he became a deputy and a sheriff of Salt Lake County. He was actually the very first sheriff of Salt Lake County. Um, he, Rodney Badger was fearless in the execution of his duties, and that was one of the reasons why he found himself when he was 30 years old, he was asked to go and help some um, pioneers crossing the Weber River. And he went to the spot where they were crossing and the Weber River was very high and it was running with so much water down it. When he saw that they were trying to cross at this spot, he advised that they not do that because he knew that they were not going to be successful. 
and he, he was an expert at this, and he, so he knew very well the dangers of them trying to do this. But the, um, the men that were in the pioneer group were insistent that they go forward with it, and, and so against his advice, they, they put the animals and the wagons into the water, and the wagons were loaded with the women and children, and the men were, were on the banks as they were trying to help the um, wagons go across. And just like Rodney feared, the water started sweeping the wagons downstream, and um, pretty soon they were in extreme danger, and the wagons were turning over, and the, and the women and the children were in the water and being swept downstream. And so he jumped into the water, um, didn't have time to do anything. He had, he was fully clothed. He was actually um, pretty encumbered when he went into the water and he grabbed, um, there was, in the, so the ones that were in the water were a mom and six children. And so he, one by one, he, he got the first person who was the mom and took her to the bank. And then he jumped back in the water and, and got a child and he went back and he did this four times with four children. So the mom and the four children, um, he went back in the water to get and save. And at the, during this whole time, the men, who were there were doing nothing. And they were just watching because they were terrified. And, and so he just kept doing this until he was absolutely overcome with exhaustion and cold. And he, so he actually lost his life and, and was drowned at that point, along with two, the two remaining children. Um, the water was so swift that they that it swept them far downstream, and they actually looked and looked for his body, and they couldn't find it um, until some time later. I think it was um, about a year later that they finally recovered his body, and it was uh, it was over a mile downstream. So that shows how fast the water was was moving. Um, the, the family who recorded this in their, in their diaries were understandably pretty unhappy with um, the men who stood by while Rodney Badger lost his life trying to save their family. But he was such an example of, of um, courage and wanting to serve other people, um, that he didn't give it another thought. And even though he um, felt like they had made a really poor decision, it didn't stop him from um, doing what he could to save this family. So um, because of, of his example, um, um, his, his name has been um, revered in our family and several people have been named after Rodney Badger in our family um, including my father um, who is named Rodney Badger Ford and then my own son I named um, for, for him and for, for my father Paul Rodney Rodney Badger has been recognized as being the first law enforcement officer to lose his life in the line of duty in the state of Utah. And um, there's a, a statue in his honor on, on Capitol Hill in Salt Lake City, as well as his name appears on the monument um, to the pioneers that is right downtown Salt Lake City. It's called the Brigham Young Monument. And there's a plaque on the monument that has the names of the pioneers who were in the first company that came across the plains. Here is the article that was in um, the newspaper that um, 
that happened at the time that Rodney Badger drowned. Um, actually, this was um, a little over a year later. It was called Discovery of the Remains of Elder R. Badger. Our readers doubtless vividly remember that Brother Rodney Badger was drowned while endeavoring to rescue the children of a passing immigrant named Williams from the Weber River on the 29th of April, 1853. They will also recollect the immediate and careful search for the body during several days by President Grant, Elders Ferguson, Burton, Cunningham, and 12 others, but without success. On Thursday, October 18th, Brother James Heath found the remains on a small island one mile and a half below where Elder Badger was drowned and about 400 yards from where President Grant and company camped at the time of their search. It is supposed that the body was immediately covered with sand and so remained until the effect of the high water this season and subsequent action of the wind upon the dry and bared part of the bones with which were found $122.90 and 100 in gold and silver. Brothers Heath and Mark Hall took up the remains, enclosed them in a coffin, and forwarded them to the family in this city for interment. Of the two children, drowned at the same time, and for whose rescue Elder Badger lost his life, one was found the next day, and the other was found about three months afterward. We don't know why he had so much gold sewn into his clothes, that's a mystery.